Hi, I'm Mark, and this year I was going to be writing a blog for the annual Advent blogs that Gary Cookson runs, but I've been really struggling with writing lately, so I asked Gary if I could put together a video instead. And here it is. And the theme this year is, it doesn't matter. So I thought it would be interesting if I asked some of my friends, some of my family, and some of my network a question. And that question was, if you could revisit your past self and tell yourself, do you know what, that thing that you've been really worried about, that you've been thinking over, that you've been ruminating on, actually it doesn't matter at all what would it be and my hope is that if you're going through something at the moment some of these messages will give you maybe the courage and the strength to know that things will and you will eventually be okay here they are there's quite a long list of things i could choose from but i think like many people who grew up at the same time as me and in the same place in ireland it would be the dreaded leaving sir our final school exams at the time, it was drummed into us that these exams were going to dictate our future happiness and our future success. And of course, it wasn't that way at all. People have gone on to do wonderful things with their lives, regardless of how well they did in a few state exams. I still have nightmares about it. I know I'm not alone in that either, but I can honestly look back and say, I tap myself on the shoulder and say, don't stress about this. It's not everything. I realized a couple of things in the last few years. I'm in my 40s now. You don't have to be conventionally beautiful or skinny or be young or anything in order to be successful or to get laid or to find love or to have a super amazing, really interesting life as a person. You just have to be there and do your thing. And I wish somebody had told me that earlier. So take this schoolyard bullies. I think the question of what I would tell my younger self that it doesn't matter takes me back 13 years to when I was going through a very messy, very public and very emotionally distressing divorce from my first wife. It felt like my life was falling apart and in many ways I suppose it was. And I felt like this was the end of pretty much everything that I'd wanted, everything I'd aspired to and I felt a complete failure. Now, 13 years later, I know that's not true. 13 years later, I know that I've found love again, and I've married again, and I'm with the woman I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. So I know now that what I was going through then, it didn't matter in the long run. It was a very difficult time, but it was a time that was going to end, that was going to have some downs to it, a lot of downs to it, but eventually you come through. I probably wouldn't listen to myself at the time, that's the problem. I didn't want to know that things were going to get better. I quite enjoyed some of the wallowing that I was able to do, but to my younger self, 13 years ago, it doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Look forward to the future. So my worry was about this one. Um, when I got Molly as a puppy, um, I was so worried about Make, having made the right decision. I couldn't sleep, um, even when she was sleeping, which was not all the time. Um, I couldn't barely eat. My Google search was completely mad. I was like, I've taken on too much. Just changed my life completely. I was really worried that she was never gonna sleep in a crate on her own, but she did um, eventually after a lot of um, sleepless nights on both our parts and actually what I would tell myself knowing what I know now is um she could have just slept in bed with me I didn't need to follow the um the rules that I'd read about you know in various books if she didn't like the crate then it didn't really matter in the long term because you know she's absolutely fine now there is no that you know there were no consequences of that no negative consequences anyway yeah everything was great everything was fine she was the best it was the best decision that i ever made something that i thought was really important when i was younger was to be liked by everyone, to be funny, to be the funniest one in the room, and to be noticed. And then as I grew older, I realized everyone wasn't gonna like you, and that was okay. And the people that you connected with, and the ones that did like you, 
are the ones that would stay friends for the rest of your life. And that true friendship, that's the important stuff. So my message for my past self, ultimately, absolutely everything that you face um, that feels like it's impossible, that feels like you will never get through it, is figure outable. And as long as you keep chipping away or you keep kind of throwing things at, at the wall and you see what sticks and what doesn't and you've, you know, you, you just keep going at it, eventually you will and you do every time find a way to figure that thing out and to achieve it. Um, the one thing that I keep coming back to is about planning because we all have plans however big or small those plans are um, we all plan things in our life um, and hope to achieve them um, and I think whether that be education, buying a house in, in my um, experience it was going to university I planned to go to university I planned what I was going to do um, and that didn't work out the first time um, buying a house and having a five-year plan to move out of that house into something a bit bigger, get married, have a baby. Um, that didn't work out. But again, in hindsight, looking back, that was such a good life experience for me and allowed me to move on and have the plans that I put in place after that um, that also took a little longer <laughs> to get to than maybe... I first thought so I think you can plan I think it's good to have plans definitely um but when they don't work out it can feel devastating especially if you've shared those plans it's very embarrassing and it can feel very like you've failed but ultimately hindsight's a really good thing um and looking back you realize what the life lesson maybe was um so I think having plans have them, go forward with your plans, but don't be scared of adapting them, don't be scared when they don't work out because quite often it's to put you on a path of something better. The perfect job, the perfect job title, striving for perfection when really there's no such thing as perfect. And if you look hard enough, you'll discover beauty in imperfections too. What's the one thing that I would like to go back and tell myself it didn't matter that I worried about? I don't have anything to answer that question. It's not a way I would reflect on things. I think my biggest learning about worrying about things is that if I'm worrying about it, it matters. Worry usually comes from my um, gut response to something, my intuitive response to something that I'm preparing for or that potentially could happen. and. What matters to me is what I do after that and what matters about worrying is riding the wave and accepting that I'm worrying about it, not overthinking it, but trying to feel the feelings and let them pass. Um, I wouldn't go back and tell myself that it doesn't matter because if I'm worrying about it, then it matters. So in the first 10 or 12 years of my career, I I thoroughly believed that I had to climb the career ladder to be successful and I tried that from every angle and ended up in a really squiggly career and I failed from every angle. It just wasn't right for me. But what you're told as a result is that you're a failure, you're broken or you're at least led to believe that and it led to me basically having a breakdown and I basically walked out of employment ended up sit setting up on my own and it's only now having had my own business for three and a half years which is thriving. I've even written my own book and had that published and lots of other things that I just couldn't have dreamed happen at the time. But I, it, so it's only now that I can actually look back at my younger self, not even that much younger, and s absolutely say that you do not have to follow the society standard for what success looks like and that you can define success for yourself and absolutely be happy and thriving and just achieve things that you didn't think were possible. So I'd say to my younger self, don't worry about who you're going to marry, she's awesome. 
<laughs> and uh, I'd also say don't worry about whether you're valuable. I think that was a big thing for me. Um, not because the question of our value doesn't matter, but because, you know, I'd put it this way, the matter of your value is unquestionable. Um, you know, I used to worry about my performance in school, uh, on the stage, on the pitch. I used to worry about my popularity with people and friendships, you know, because I thought that my significance was actually tied to those sort of changing variables, whether I did well or did bad. So I'd say to my younger self, don't worry about your value because your value and identity are securely rooted in more stable and unchanging truths. Um, you know, like the simple yet profound reality. I'd say, Will, you are a human being, a sacred and precious individual. Um, you know, I'd probably tell myself the question of your identity and value actually matters way more than you think it does. But don't worry, because your worry will be turned to wonder when you realise that your values Un unquestionably fixed um, and secure you know um, also your wife is really funny and you're going to be a dad see ya I wanted to send a huge thank you to everyone who took time to send in the video I hope you'll agree that these are all beautiful messages that span a huge range of themes and topics in answering that question and I put everyone's names and Twitter handles in the description below and on the video. So if there's anyone that you wanted to get in touch with as a result of what you've seen and heard, please go for it. If you haven't already, do check out some of the other Advent blogs that have been posted this year. They are, as always, amazing. I'll leave a link in the description below. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.